Hello everyone, welcome to the unboxing video for the Festo CMMT ST Servo Drive Starter Kit. My name is Tom Warsnop. I am Product Market Manager for Servo Drives and Motors, as well as Electromechanical Actuators for Festo North America. And in this video, I'm going to show you what you can expect when you order one of these kits. So in every starter kit, you will receive a DC servo drive, the CMMT ST, as well as the connectors, the stepper motor EMM SST with encoder feedback built in, and the motor and encoder cables. And all of these components arrive together in a box like you see here. And the complete kit is over 50% off of list price. So let's get into the unboxing. This is the starter kit. On the side, you can see we've got the components here, the drive, the motor, and the cables. Uh, there's a QR code on the side for uh, it, this sends you to our service channel on YouTube. And if I open this up, you've got the servo drive right here, as well as the motor underneath this piece of cardboard here. And then on the top panel, I've got additional information about the drive. Uh, I've got a QR code right over here. This takes you to the automation suite, which is the software used to commission the servo drive. And then this takes you to electric motion sizing, which is our online sizing and selection software. It helps you size a, uh, a servo drive motor and, and actuator if you need one for your application. Down here, you can see which field buses are supported by this servo drive. It supports Profinet, EtherCAT, Modbus, and Ethernet IP. All you do is when you connect to the drive, you configure it for which one you want to use. So I'm gonna close this panel and then I'm gonna open this whole box from the side because in order to get the cables and connectors out, I have to do that anyway. So let's start by getting the server drive out. Hopefully without tearing the cardboard, very nice. Okay. The motor. Okay. Just got a cover on the encoder connector. Take that off. And let me get out the cables. Oop. That's my bag of connectors. I'll uh, put those on the drive in just a minute. And then my cables and documentation. So the documentation, you can use that to connect your uh, cables to the drive correctly. We don't need those. And then I've got the motor, uh, sorry, motor and encoder cable, which I'll get to in just a minute. So let's start with the drive itself. This is the CMMT ST multi protocol servo drive. Um, if you're going to mount this into your control cabinet on the back, we have a DIN rail mount or a trail mount. Uh, that can be removed if you just take off, use an Allen key to remove it. That comes right off. And then the alternate way to mount it is with the um, mounting slot and mounting hole at the top and bottom. Uh, that's what most customers use, I'd say. On the top of the servo drive, this is our field bus connection. So if you're doing EtherCAT, it's going to be an in and an out port. If you're doing Ethernet IP, Profinet, or Modbus, then this is a built-in switch. And um, the, you would just configure it for whichever field bus you're using um, when you're commissioning it. On the front, this is our configuration port. So this is where we connect to our laptop or our PC and uh, use Automation Suite to commission this drive. 
Uh, this is our safety connection. So we have safe torque off here as well as some digital inputs. Then we have our encoder connection, our motor connection. If you're using a homing sensor, you can connect that here. And on the bottom here, this is where we connect power. Uh, I'll connect the, I'll put the connectors on in a moment. In fact, why don't I do that right now? Okay. So in no particular order, Okay, this is my encoder connector. This is my safety connector. So it's got my digital inputs as well as my safe torque off connection. This is power. So I've got, uh, I can do 48 volts or 24 volts for the load, and then I can do 24 volt uh, logic. Or I have to do, I should say. Then I've got my motor connection. And finally, my reference switch. And voila, all of my connectors on the server drive. And let me come back and talk about this once I get the, the cables out. So that fin. is used for grounding my cables, the shielding on my cables. So this works is you take your encoder and your motor cables, you mount them here, you run zip ties through here, strap these on against this fin, and now that will ground out any electromagnetic noise. So if you're in a particularly dirty, electromagnetically speaking, uh, environment where you've got like robotic cables and high other other high voltage cables, then you'd want to ground this out to make sure that you don't get any noise on your on your encoder signal. Um, so that's what that fin is for. And let me get out the motor cable as well. So my motor cable has a nice right angle connector, as does my encoder cable. And let's see what these look like on the motor. So this motor, uh, it has an encoder built in. And one of the really nice things about that, so I've got my motor connection here. One of the really nice things about the fact that it's got encoder feedback is it means I can use this drive to do true servo motion, right? So I'm not going to lose position. I can do things like speed control, position control, and torque control because I know where this motor is and I, I get that because I've got the encoder signal from this encoder here. And so this is the encoder connection comes off at a nice angle here. Get that properly seated and then voila. Uh, this you would you would also obviously screw down as well. That is my starter kit. Now that you've seen what's in the starter kit, go to the link in the description below to place your order.